One for 33. Well, he didn't even stand up, he just walked. Broad has picked up his second wicket in his second over. Marsanga Kara offering a very tentative cut to a delivery outside off stump. Well, this is the second time the wicket keeper hasn't heard it and he had the ball of a company. There it is, and just takes the catch. I've seen Sangakara walk. I think he also believes in the Gilchrist theory that if you're out you walk. But this time even the bowler didn't hear it. Made life simpler for the umpire. But Sangakara is gone and Sri Lanka in deep trouble now. 42 for 4. New Zealand are normally a good outfit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, if Asad Ralph is calling for the, the stumps discussion here now, was the ball dead? Well, it might just be a question here from the umpire to Daniel Vittori. Do you want him to go? We know he's out of you. He's out of his crease. Do you want to call him? Not call him back. He hasn't gone yet. But do you want to say? And it caused all sorts of problems. Now, what happened? He just wanders out of his crease, I think. Yeah, he does. Well, technically, it's out. Now, has Daryl Harper, though, called over before that hit the stump? It was out of his ground. Out. Says the third umpire. Now, whether that is far and apart from what Daryl Harper is asking here. Well, how deep are those scars from what happened at the Oval? I think this is what it might be about. How deep are those scars? Paul Collingwood was England's captain. He didn't call back Grant Elliott, who had a, an incident with Ryan Sidebottom. They ran into each other, and there was a lot, a lot of animosity. Now, there's a lot of chat out there right now. In the final test match of the... Through to the keeper, and he's walked. It looked like it came off the glove, it did. And uh, never waits for the finger to be raised. Adam Gilchrist is a walker. And that's a bonus, because that wasn't a great delivery. It's almost a wide. In fact, Steve Davis is having a good walk, and Gilby turned and went. So that's the end of Adam Gilchrist. And one day the Nationals at the Gabba, getting a magnificent ovation. But that's a big wicket. Hit back and I think it's got Shred Achter on his leg. <laughs> How would you feel? You've charged in, you've given it everything you possibly can. And it <laughs> tried to bowl at 100 mile an hour and it probably came back even quicker. And got him in the shit, <laughs> the bottom of the shit on that's dangerous. Things aren't too good when that happens. And uh, Freddie coughs it, fortunately, in the shoulder. That's nasty. And give Jacob Orham the benefit of the doubt here that slipped. And uh, they make up very quickly. Yeah, they do. Lucky it was only 128k, not 158. Orham trying to bowl the Yorker. Oh, that's nasty. Really nasty from a batting point of view. That height nearly cleaned him up straight away it was called no ball but straight away jacob Orham went up to freddy and said sorry mate you've just battled me for sick oh, that's close that's gone peter manuel has raised the finger andrew simons is not happy perhaps he's got some wood on it my god he smashed that unhappy oh, goodness gracious me Look at this, he smashed it into his pads. He's going to hit middle, of course. Look at that, he's going, oh my God, what? We heard it from here in the stumps, Mike, but there you go. There's nothing you can do about it, son, you've got to move. He's gone for 10, LBW Dharmasena. It's now 190 for five. This is incredible. What, 
what a magnificent gesture. Well, I think what's happened here is Peter Manuel, after he raised the finger and saw the reaction of the players, and maybe it dawns a little bit.